with Nan and Cam. And instead of it just being a normal Thursday today, not only is it two days before the Allianz Partners Richmond Marathon, but it is National Yay! Pickle Day. Yay! And Yay! what better Yay! guest to have <laughs> on National Pickle Day than Philip Cupins, who is the vice president of the Pickle Juice Company, who provides all of the pickle juice for the Allianz Partners Richmond Marathon and CarMax Richmond Half Marathon. So we are pumped up about so this. So excited. So excited. Two pickle lovers here. Yes. Welcome, Philip. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> We're glad. We've been very excited about this. So tell us a little bit about your journey to the pickle juice company. This is a unique career. Sure. Yeah. Um, I started working for a bunch of really big companies, uh, 20, um, 20th Century Fox, before that Warner Brothers, before that Heinz. Um, and my background's a little bit in uh, food science, sports, and also uh, sales marketing. So uh, when we had the opportunity to join an organization and, and try to revolutionize, we think, um, functional food products um, and really solve some common problems, um, I jumped at it. And that was about 10 years ago. All right. So you've been in the pickle business ever since. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, have you always been a pickle fan? Um, you know, I, I'm originally from Europe and we don't have a huge pickle background where I'm from. Yeah, okay. So it, it, that um, the pickle craze is something that I'm new to, right. um, but <laughs> have since had a lot, a lot of fun with. Um, and, you know, like it's it's been huge and it's it's like yeah. this thing that came out of nowhere and now there's like pickle everything there's pickle festivals there's yeah. um there's all sorts of stuff it's it's kind of a really fun industry to be a part of i bet I yeah say, i would think so too. yeah he was joking before this with us that they might just have like a mountain of pickles that they feed out and cameron and i were like we're gonna change Field careers trip. Field trip yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i only asked that because i used i was not a pickle fan. I, I wasn't either. I it changed like, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Pickles changed my life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was not a, a pickle fan. And then a few years ago when I was in college, I worked at Texas Roadhouse and I would eat one of their pickles every day and they were so good. And then ever since then, I've been a pickle fan. So I, like, I really like pickles now. Yeah. I think it was kind of in the olive category for me because I didn't think I liked olives you did, you either but i love salty so i was and i don't like not liking things so i was like we're gonna force this and <laughs> i i am now in that side i had we just had the um state fair here in virginia i had some pickled lemonade oh. um and it was actually honestly delicious was it yeah. Yeah, a little sweet and salty a okay. little briny i don't know if i would try that <laughs> but i do like a good pickle. okay um so for people who are listening that do not know how does pickle juice benefit runners yeah so it's actually the only product in the world that's scientifically proven to stop muscle cramps and uh, we do that using a proprietary grain of acetic acid that blocks the nerve receptors to cause cramping so if somebody feels a muscle cramp coming on they can consume our product and within um 60 to 82 seconds that cramp is completely gone and won't come back for 45 to 60 minutes Wow. I didn't know I that. I didn't know that no. either. I know because playing softball growing up, people would always say either pickle juice or mustard. And I was like, I'm not eating a packet of mustard. Not gonna <laughs> happen. So the fact that you said that's not even scientifically proven, I love that because I was never going to do that in the first place. <laughs> Um, I also love hearing that because I feel like when people talk about it, they don't know the science behind it like you do, that people think, I've heard a lot of people say that it is just like a mind distractor, which it also is from your pain when you take a pickle juice shot. But I, yeah, the science behind it is fascinating. Yeah, the, the, the neural inhibition thing, when they're like, oh, it's a mind distractor, um, they're a little closer to the preconceptions of, Back in the day, people thought you could just drink pickle brine and the high sodium content would prevent um, dehydration, therefore preventing cramps. But it turned out that there's about 12 or so different um, physiological triggers that uh, trigger a neurological response. And the muscle cramp is actually caused by that neurological response. So what we do is interface with the nerve receptors that cause the cramping at the neurological level. And that's why this stops so quickly. So I think maybe some people kind of read that science and they're like oh it's a mind distractor whereas it's it's not really a mind distractor but it is targeting uh, a neurological component to the reaction 
It's fascinating. Yeah, just out of curiosity, obviously it's a lot e easier and quicker to drink pickle juice, mm -hmm. but could you eat a pickle and would it have the same like reaction? Mm, would your question. body still have the same reaction? All right. Well, we said earlier I had a surprise for you guys, right, about this yeah. product. And we said we weren't going to talk about it until we were recording. So here's the thing. Pickle juice has nothing to do with pickles. So pickle juice is a trade name like Band-Aid or Xerox or Kleenex or Sharpie. We call it that because um, we the proprietary grain of acetic acid that we use that interfaces with the nerve receptors that cause cramping happens to make the product taste like pickles. And it's, um, so because if you think about it, there's no such thing as pickle juice in the wild, right? Nobody's juicing pickles <laughs> to create brine. So right, it's not like apple yeah. juice or orange juice. They weren't, and, Cameron's mind went this way yeah, when we yeah. talked about it. I knew it. Yeah. This, is, this is a reaction we get all the time, which is why I wanted to um, save it <laughs> for, for evidence. Um, but yeah, so pickle juice is not pickle brine. Uh, it tastes uh, a bit like pickles. Um, it's certainly in the flavor category of pickles, but from a purely functional perspective, uh, it's not synonymous. It's developed in a laboratory. Um, there's a whole lot of science that goes in it. We actually have a lab on site here um, at our facility in Texas where we do all the R&D and, and QC and development. We do like really extensive testing um, with athletes from team sports, individual endurance sports and everything. So um, yeah, w while we share um, a, a flavor profile and I guess a name in some regards, it, we, we actually, that's kind of where the similarities stop. I feel bamboozled. I was going to say, <laughs> I know, your I'm mind so over here. Here's <laughs> this, your face I was, was like, wow. Well, here's the thing, because this was, it does, I, this we have drank the, the pickle. Had. Yeah. We've also drank your pickle the juice because yeah. when it's come in, because we've been curious about it and it does, I mean, it tastes like pickles. Right. Right. And, and what you said, there is no pickle juice in the wild. I was like, no yeah. pickle brine. Right. Yeah. That's what and she was, was thinking. Like, you take a cucumber and you put it in the brine, which makes it a pickle. But like, it's still a cucumber. Yeah. yeah. So she was, yeah. So she, we got to the point where she was like, the, does the brine, if the brine is coming before the pickle, do they even need pickles? Right. And right. yeah. So there's our third question was just so the audience knows was how do you just get the pickle juice? What happens to the discarded pickles? And we loved thinking about just a pile of discarded pickles. Yeah, we yeah, just, because, yeah because this discount is, pickles. And Nan was, when we were creating the questions, Nan was like, do you have any questions um, to ask? And simply, I just was like, what happens to the pickles? <laughs> That's we actually was, started. It, so was, yeah, but then as I started thinking about it, I was like, are there even pickles? Yeah, <laughs> I guess, no. Man. We actually started kind of a, a joke um, campaign called Save the Pickles. We even have this the website, savethepickles.org. And we're kind of like, um, you know, every year millions of pickles sacrifice their lives because humans are consuming their habitat <laughs> to stop drinking pickle brine and save the pickles by drinking some pickle juice. So it's like a whole thing. There's a mascot, Peter and Piper Pickle. Um, yeah, we have a lot of fun with it. They need but... to come to the marathon. Uh, it's savethepickles.org. Savethepickles.org. Yeah, I think I'm it's going to go to it later today. I hope it's still fully <laughs> yeah. functioning. Um, Full transparency. It just redirects you to our site. <laughs> yeah, okay. I also, that was like a question that I kind of had before we started this was, are you tired of pickles? But I guess there's no pickles, so there's nothing to be tired of. Uh, no, but I will tell you, it's it's fun because, you know, as you can imagine, um, my life sort of revolves around all things pickles now. So I get yeah. pickle gifts, pickle references, pickle foods, pickle everything. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff out there, believe it or not. There's like these these social media groups called like I Love Pickles and you just see all the different stuff. I think Jimmy John's just like this week they announced did. a pickle sandwich. Yeah. yeah, yeah, pickle witch. Pickle witch, a pickle Actually, witch yeah. My best friend Katie had one. She said it was a lot smaller than she thought it was going to be. And then I was like, Katie, well, it, it is, is a, a pickle. on a pickle, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like Foot-long foot cucumber. Long <laughs> we have, uh, our office is situated next to the Richmond Minor League Baseball team, the Richmond Flying Squirrels, and they always do, like, some weird, as Minor League Baseball does, food items. And one that has really stuck around that I've had multiple times is the Big Dill Dog. And it is just, instead of a bun, a hot dog on a pickle. 
And? It's great. It's a mess, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's delicious. I, I, I love have to it. Try it. Yeah. I mean, a bun is never the star of the show with a hot dog anyway. Yeah. So Fair. I'm fine to get that out of there. Now you get pickle, yeah. bun. I kind of feel like the hot dog water has to be old. Otherwise, it's not the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's true. Yeah. I was going to say the pickle's not the worst part of that. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> or the pickle juice. Definitely not. Right. Um, yeah. So, how many different events do you work throughout like a calendar year? Yeah. So, uh, that, that's, and I'm so glad you brought that up. Um, it's, it's, kind of our big go to market strategy. It's how we try to differentiate ourselves from other companies in that uh, we really want to interact with and work through our consumer base um, and give back to the community that's supporting us. So we're working with up to about 500 events a year. Um, and uh, more often than not, they're, they're tied to charities and, and um, you know, usually causes that help everybody so they're they're not, they're not sort of biased causes if you will um so they're usually oftentimes health related or kids or pets or something like that yeah. so f feel good stuff literally and figuratively i guess but yeah. yeah we we work with up to 500 events a year uh what we mostly what we call participatory endurance events so a lot of um, runs, uh, marathons, ultra runs, uh, endurance cycling events and things like that. And frankly, you meet some really amazing people. So I'm, I'm, we're really, really lucky to get to meet, work with some, some of the coolest people there are out there. That's awesome. How many, uh, do you know how many gallons of pickle juice you produce a year? Um, yeah, roughly we make about, um, we can make up to a hundred thousand, two and a half ounce bottles a day. Um, we don't run at full capacity all the time, so we're anticipating some pretty significant growth over the next few years. But um, right now, we're pr producing up to about 15 million units a year. Oh, yes, it's, we we tell people we're a lot bigger than people might perceive us. Yeah, to be. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, I mean, I've seen the shipment come to our warehouse, and just that, and thinking about 500 events a year, like that's just wild. Yeah. So you briefly touched on the other, you said people give you pickled flavored things and novelties all the time. Uh, do you like pickle flavored things? And what is the like best pickle flavor thing you've had or something else that's been pickled? You know, uh, there was these like pickled flavored peanuts that I got a while okay. back. And I thought those were pretty legit. Um, we were at a festival um called the big dill which is uh to your your neighbors to the north and and it's in baltimore okay. um and now it's gotten so big they do oh, one in yeah. philly they're bringing one to dallas but they had this like pickle pizza that was so good it was amazing so you know for for everybody joining us on on this uh podcast if you get a chance to go to the Big Dill and have the pickled yeah. pizza, it's it's legit. It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Dill. When we were at, I was just in Texas with my husband for a work conference, and it was the Texas State Fair, and we were staying like just far enough away that we couldn't get to it. But I did a lot of watching of food, and they had pickle pizza was one of their new things, and it looked mm -hmm. delicious. I've had a pickle pizza before, really, at a restaurant, but it did not look. I mean, not like a fair or the Big Dill is where you want to get pickle pizza, not okay. at a restaurant. Yeah. yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah, huh, fair to, pun intended. To drop my, my birthday <laughs> gift from Nan actually this year was two things of pickle de gallo. Mm -hmm. Um, that has become my new favorite thing. It's just so, so good, so good. You need to come visit us in Texas. It's everywhere. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to find. It was hard to find here, and I kept to, like it's been hard to it. find recently. I've yes, seen it a lot because they had it in Costco. Costco. And that's what she got. She got me like a, a stack of two. Um, but before <laughs> that, like the first time I had it was probably like five years ago, maybe. And four or five years ago. And I got it just in a little Aldi Fines yeah. area and could never find it after that. And then she brought it to me and I had find it, found it at uh, Wegmans. That's the only other paper. Okay. But it's so good. So freaking good. Fair. We put it on everything. Yeah. Yeah. I love I, it. Yeah. I would too if I could find it like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, I, she got me two and I was like, wow, because I'm going to eat one of these all by myself and then I'll share one with the office. I actually still have, I have some at home too. Okay. My favorite I never, I missed when you shared it. It got taken. Yeah. It was gone. It's okay. We'll bring it back. I appreciate it. Um, 
I guess, yeah. So our last question would be, why do you think you've touched on it a little bit, but why do you think that pickle juice stops have blown up in popularity? Yeah, again, it's, I think the, the science is really emerging, right? And what we're trying to do is um, prove that you can solve real acute and everyday problems um, using non-pharmaceutical products. So we're, um, so the neural inhibition, and that was kind of our flagship with the pickle juice, um, but we're also working with things like um, vasodilation, VO2 max, and things like that using other natural products. But and I think people, especially in the endurance sports space where we're, we're very active, have become very, very aware of what our product does and the differentiation from the um, brine. And I think fortunately people are receptive not only to the products we're producing, but how we're going to market and, and how we like to present ourselves um, from, from a corporate perspective, if you will. Um, so, you know, we're really, really lucky that, that the community that we're trying to serve and the community that obviously um, keeps our lights on is, has embraced us and, and really partnered with us on something beyond a transactional level. So I think that's why a, a lot of that popularity is uh, rising at events. Unrelated question. How many days a week do you wear green? Do you think? I was just thinking that actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I, my closet looks kind of like a Christmas tree because we also have, <laughs> we also have a chili lime product. Um, and, and that's like that bottle's red. So now we have like red shirts. It's, and it's funny. It's like, we don't have a uniform at the office. It's just right. kind of like, we're always wearing pickle juice swag because I guess it's just easy to this feels right. Yeah. It's easy to pick yeah. what you're going to wear, but it's just right, right there. Right. Yeah. No, I love that. That's amazing. I, I was going to say, you guys need to get some like merch that you can have up. Yeah. I feel like we do. Really and as a matter of okay. fact, if you go to our website and, and you drill down to the um, save the pickles thing and shop, uh, we actually had a lot of fun with some old like eighties campaigns. Um, right. So we have like, um, Mothers Against Drinking Brine shirts. Um, we have Peter dressed in a Smokey the Bear hat that says, only you can save the pickles. Um, wow, we got to get some of this. Yeah. We get some of Take our money. We're going to be downstairs <laughs> shopping us. it up. You got us. Yeah, we, 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 can, we can be pretty ridiculous. There's a Save the Pickles, like a uh, doggy hang neckerchief. That's cute. Ooh, and, uh, yeah, I feel like the possibilities are just endless. Yeah. Oh, and seeing the baby onesies alone is worth a trip to that website. Oh, yeah, we're we're going actually. <laughs> the ladies that because I'm looking through our photos all the time of our pickle juice stop from last year, and the ladies that are there wear like pickle queen shirts, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah. The people, the pickle volunteers queens. that we have that work this stop, this is definitely one of the favorite stops for volunteer groups to work, and they they get really into it. We love um, it. Like Cameron said, they've got the pickle queen shirt. Green they, tutus. Yeah. I think it's also because the runners are so excited about it that like, yeah. that's an easy spot for people to want to be a part of. We absolutely love it. And, and, and that's the kind of stuff we really love doing. You know, it's, 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 there's, there's no reason you can't have fun. Um, when, when you're, when you're working with products and people and events and stuff, I mean, that's what it's all about. Right. Yeah, right. we agree. We love having fun. Yeah. <laughs> our faith. Um, well, next we have some truly only fun questions for you that uh, we do this or that with all of our guests. Um, and they're usually sometimes related, sometimes not. But we just had too many questions about pickles still. <laughs> um, so this is just kind of rapid fire. You pick which one is better for you. Okay. Um, do you prefer dill or sweet pickles? Dill all the way. Yeah. We got a little argument on the way up we here. Not us. not us. We agree. Never us. <laughs> But the people downstairs, they were, some people were saying that sweet pickles were, were just... They're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So wrong. <laughs> Why would you even entertain it when there's a world with dill? No, literally. It's like I entry had, level pickle. Yeah. Like, come on. at my parents' house one time and nearly threw up. I was like, <laughs> what is this? I, I didn't know. I just thought it was a jar pickle. Then I was like, mm, no. Nothing That's... worse than when you go to bite into a pickle and you think it's dill and it's sweet. That's exactly. It's terrible. I thought it was a regular dill pickle and no. nearly Oof. just spit it out actually i did spit it out but almost in a <coughs> okay. um so glad you're in the glad you're club. in the in the mm -hmm. right club um okay next question pickle chip or pickle <laughs> spear uh i'm gonna go with spears 
Okay. Okay. What about when it when they're fried, pickle chip or pickle spear? Oof, that's tough. I mean, it's like picking between you two children. Which one's your favorite? So it definitely is. chips. Yep. <laughs> chip, chip. Okay. So it, it yeah, it does. Change. It changes for me too. I'm um, spear and then chip. I don't like the fried spear. Can be tricky. Right. Yeah, I feel that the when you're frying the chip, you can kind of get it all the way, and it's better yes. to scoop in ranch. Yes. Yes. True. Oh my gosh, we and could the, just we yeah. could go to state fairs, bar food, anything I know. together. I know. <laughs> just all <What's> <laughs> yeah. Um, so now this one, since you revealed the secret to us, uh, do you prefer eating a pickle or just drinking some pickle juice? I mean, I, I, obviously, I I'm going with drinking the pickle juice. Yeah. 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 We get that. got to understand yeah. we get the livelihood. Yeah, and it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I've never. Delicious. I don't, I don't think I've personally seen it in <laughs> person. Is it green or is it? It's clear? like a, yeah, it's greenish. No, it's actually it's a, it actually it looks green, man. But that's actually the label. So um, the kind of yellowish green color you associate with pickle brine is typically driven by food coloring. It's yellow number five, which is not thinking. very healthy at all. Right. Oh my gosh. Um, so our products USD organic certified. So we don't use any artificial colors or flavors. We actually didn't even set out to create this flavor profile. It was a natural byproduct of our wow. functional ingredients. And we kind of joke like, well, we could either call it what it tastes like or what it does. But if I give you a bottle of Cramp Stopper 9000, you'd probably be a little Ooh, reluctant. So <laughs> we, went, we figured if you're like, oh, what's that tastes like pickles. So right. Yeah. Yeah, we thought we no. I definitely feel like that gets people way more into it. You're right, yeah. and yeah. like that is wild. I feel so much more confident about, about confident about my knowledge of like pickle juice now. Yeah, That's right. I can like share it with the world. But I won't be calling. Yeah, I not, don't want to. We, we can't 9, be. Yeah, we got to trick people still make them think there's a mountain of discarded pickles yeah. somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's been, a, your party tip you can pull out and yeah. impress people. There's actually a mountain of pickles. We've been. I've been <laughs> on filter. Yeah. <laughs> well, Philip, thank you so much. This was, I think, definitely one of Cam and I's favorite podcasts. 100%. And we're so glad that it worked out. Like I said, when we saw November 14th was National Pickle Day, we were like, this would be great. I wonder if they'd be into this. Oh, and y'all totally. got back to us so fast. It was yeah. so great. No, it was so great to be on here with you. And we really appreciate the conversation and supporting us with the marathon. So thank you so much. Well, yeah, thanks. I'm thanks. sure all the runners are very excited uh, to drink your product. At, I think it's at mile... It's, like, it's after mile 20, isn't it? For the full. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, 20, I believe it is. Because it's like after, on Brook Road. Okay. Yeah. So be on the lookout, runners. Yeah. <laughs> Pickles in there for you. <laughs> great. Thanks, Philip. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Have a great marathon. Hey. All right. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, good. I'm glad. No, we had a great time. You're a great podcast guest. Yes. You should get on more often. You should. Thank you. <laughs>